Hey guys, so now that I'm finally on Christmas break and I'm able to relax after all the school, I decided to share with you guys this painting that I started on, I think two weeks before Christmas break and then finished uh, as of upload, um, like three days ago, I think. Um, so I really wanted to do a watercolor because it's been a really long time since I've done watercolors. Like, I haven't done a full finished watercolor piece since high school. That was back when I thought the best way to do watercolors was just kind of soak the whole paper in water and then drop paint on it. I was not great. And so I decided just as an experiment to use the watercolor set that I had gone when I was 18 and just put together a piece and see if I liked it. And I ended up really liking this. Uh, I was kind of inspired by uh, The Legend of Bayron and Luthien, because I'm a nerd. Uh, for those of you who don't know, Luthien Tenuviel is from Tolkien's mythology. She appears in Silmarillion, although if you've watched the Lord of the Rings Peter Jackson movies, you might remember Aragorn singing a little song about her. Uh, the basic story was that Luthien was this absolutely beautiful elf. Actually, that's kind of a lie. She was half elven and half Maiar. Uh, so, kind of half goddess. And she ended up uh, falling in love with a mortal, Baron, and because her dad really hated Baron for some reason, he made them both go on this journey to go and get the Silmarils, which were like the Gems of Light. And I was kind of just inspired by when Baron first saw Luthien, just like, she's described as having this dress that's like the knight and like, this beautiful black hair, and I know, I wouldn't consider this like a canonical depiction of Luthien, but I feel like it definitely owes a lot to that. And I just had a lot of fun, especially, the dress was a lot of fun, but that was me mostly like, oh, this is how watercolors work. Whoosh. But the hair was just a lot of fun for me because I really wanted to do like inked hair and just to give it this sense of like just flowing and like moving around her and being almost like alive. Uh, so I originally had something kind of sketched out, but I decided to just erase all of that and just kind of draw swirls and like draw more things around them and see what happened. And I ended up really liking it. I drew a lot of things that I then had to go in and kind of like fill in to make it, you know, read as hair and not random swirlies. But it ended up being really fun and giving it this feeling of being like a stained glass piece almost.
and uh, fun fact I learned about microns on this project. Apparently, if your multiliners are dying on you, it'll be a lot more obvious on watercolor than on normal paper. I had a moment of freaking out and thinking all of my pens were dead. Uh, nope. Uh, they were just not quite as pure black as my actual ink, so it just wasn't showing up as much. Thankfully, my mom's multiliner from her scrapbooking days saved me, and I was able to go in and clean up those lines a bit. Now, this is the finished piece. Um, I ended up lining the outside of it a bit with, like, I wanted to do it with the micron, but since they didn't look as good, I did it with my brush, and it looks really nice, actually. Uh, so this piece is going to be on, it's already on my red bubble, and I'm working on having this on my Etsy, so Hopefully you'll be able to buy prints of that there, as well as the original. And if you're new to this channel, uh, be sure to subscribe. I upload videos roughly every other Saturday of me doing art, talking about art, and I'm probably going to be doing some challenges soon, you know, we'll see. So, thanks for stopping by!